Welcome to the Book Hackers Podcast. I'm Cindy Manier. I'm Tammy Crin, and we are the co-founders of the Book Hackers Club. If you're listening to this, you probably are a self-publisher who's ready to grow your business, and that's exactly why we're here. What is a book hacker, you ask? A book hacker is a self-publisher who is growing their business by creating books that provide value for their target audience while building a sustainable business. We'll cover marketing, branding, sales, and everything in between. If you're ready to fast track the growth of your self-publishing business, you've come to the right place. Our goal is simple, to help you think and act like an entrepreneur. Every Thursday, we'll share tips and resources designed to help you master all aspects of your self-publishing business while having fun along the way. Ready? Let's start. Welcome to the Book Hacker Show. What is a book hacker? A book hacker is a self-publisher who is growing their business by creating books that provide value for their target audience while building a sustainable business. I'm Tammy Crin. And I'm Cindy Manier, your host of the Book Hacker Show. And today we're talking about self-publishing success through goal setting and planning. When planning your goals, it is beneficial to focus on the shorter timeframes like quarterly goals in order to make them more achievable and prevent the feeling of overwhelm, which may lead to really not achieving your goals. Although annual goals should be written down as your end goal, breaking them down into smaller pieces and working towards them for over each quarter can really help ensure that you have a higher chance of success. Cindy, can you share why writing down both your personal and professional goals is important? Sure, Tammy. When it comes to setting goals for yourself and your self-publishing business, writing them down can be the key to achieving success. Writing out your personal goals and business goals allows you to visualize what you're striving for and track your progress over time. Additionally, it's a great way to stay motivated and break larger goals down into smaller pieces that are easier to work towards. When you write down your personal and self-publishing business goals, remember that they should be specific and measurable so that you can measure your progress more easily. Taking the time to write down both of these types of desired outcomes will help to ensure that you reach all of your goals. Tammy, can you share why tracking and measuring your goals is a must? Of course, tracking and measuring your goals often is an essential for your success. Without tracking and measuring your goals, you have no way of knowing if you are making progress towards them or not. Tracking and measuring your goals also allows you to adjust them as needed to ensure that they remain achievable. Additionally, when tracked and measured regularly, it can help keep you motivated as you see the results of all of your hard work. Take the time to track and measure your goals can be the key to success in reaching them. Cindy, can you share this Harvard business study about having goals? Sure. A Harvard business study revealed that having goals is key to success. With those who wrote down their goals being three times more successful than those with unwritten plans. Furthermore, the study found that those with any type of goal were 10 times more successful than those without. Clearly, writing down one's goals can lead to much greater success. Wow, that is really interesting stat about why it is important to write out your goals. It's giving you a huge step forward in having success in your personal and professional life. Now for the fun part of reaching your goals. As you are achieving your goals, put in place rewards for yourself. Celebrate your wins along the way. This will definitely keep you motivated to reach your goals. It can be if I reach this goal, I'm going to go to the spa or I'm going to take the afternoon off and go for a hike. Cindy, do you have any special rewards when you reach your goals? I do. I like to go to the beach or to the brewery that my husband and I belong to. And as you know very well, I especially (laughs) love to plan trips in the tropics, someplace sunny and warm with a beach. That's the type of thing that I like to reward myself with. I love it, Cindy. I know I always love seeing your photos from your trips that you take. And I'm always excited to see you out there having fun. 
So have fun with this. And if you want to dive deeper and really make a commitment to setting your goals with intention, we have put together a challenge just for you called Plan and Expand Your Self-Publishing Business. For more information and to join, we will add the link to our show notes. So I'll put it right in the show notes for you. So you can click on that and check it out. And you'll want to hurry because it kicks off on Monday, January 16th, 2023. So don't waste time. Get in there, click on the link and check it out. You won't want to miss this opportunity. And Cindy, can you just do a quick recap of what we just talked about? Sure. Here's a quick recap of what we discussed in this episode. First, define your personal and professional goals. Second, outline a plan to achieve your goals. Then go and take action and track your progress. And as you're tracking your progress, adjust your plan as needed to make sure you stay on track. And then once you reach your goal, celebrate your successes. Yay! (laughs) Yay! In our next episode, we'll talk about common reasons KDP rejects your book and how to fix them. We appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to join us. If you like what we're sharing on the Book Hacker Show, join us in our Book Hackers Club, where we dive in deeper, helping you build a strong and sustainable self-publishing business. Go to bookhackers.us. That is bookhackers.us. Join us every Thursday if you are ready to turn your self-publishing into a sustainable business. We would be very grateful if you would like, follow, share, and subscribe to The Book Hacker Show. Bye for now. Thanks for listening. Join Cindy and Tammy each week for tips to help grow your self-publishing business. Don't forget to like.